COVID hospitalizations have increased, and we're told at a faster pace. In Clark County, there's been a 15.5% increase over the past week with 432 more people in the hospital. This surge, part of the reason Clark County remains at a high community level. And speaking of COVID, for most of us, I think it's safe to say normal life is back after the pandemic, but the coronavirus still hasn't gone away yet. Yes, we've been reporting many Americans getting COVID for a second, third, even a fourth time. As John Langler reports, a troubling new study reveals the dangers of reinfection. The latest numbers from Nevada health officials show coronavirus cases and deaths are staying relatively low, an average of 870 cases and two deaths every day. But there is new research and it suggests new variants and repeat cases could be more dangerous. I don't see any reason to, to court that. <laughs> I'm not interested in going through that. Aging is, you know, difficult enough. Lois Tucker feels fortunate. She's never tested positive for coronavirus. However, her brother has, and he's still battling through long COVID symptoms, shortness of breath, brain fog, and... The thing that bothers him the most is his, his legs and his feet, just like a tingling, numb, strange feeling in his feet. Doctors have been trying to learn more about the cause of long-term COVID, but a new study out of the Veterans Affairs Health System finds some health risks of reinfection. Patients who have had two or more cases of COVID had more than twice the risk of dying. They are also three times more likely to be hospitalized within six months of their last infection. So that's the problem with this damn thing. It's just like every time you think you figure it out and you kind of understand the dimensions of it, it comes up with a new curveball, and it's like, okay, that thing I used to think two months ago no longer wor works. Dr. Bob Wachter is the chief of medicine at UC San Francisco. He says some of the health problems include strokes and heart attacks. While Dr. Wachter doesn't think mask mandates are necessary again, he is worried about a new BA5 coronavirus subvariant. It's spreading rapidly. He says vaccination and prior infection don't work as well as they used to in preventing new cases. There's a ton of cases around and, and, and a variant that's far more infectious than ever before. Dr. Walker says those who still need to get the booster get the booster shot of the coronavirus vaccine. It may not stop you from catching coronavirus, but he does say it's effective in preventing severe disease. John Langler, live, local, now.